Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Chuck's the Cooking. And today we are going to be making mascarpone or ma mascarpone cheese, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I have heard it pronounced both ways, and I'm not exactly certain of the exact correct Italian pronunciation. I think it could be pronounced either way. But at any rate, that's what we're going to be making. Now in this cheese there is only two ingredients, and one of them is heavy cream. So I've got a pint of heavy whipping cream here. I've also got two tablespoons, those would be the big ones, of lemon juice. You can also use vinegar as well, but I think lemon juice has a little bit of a milder flavor. And since I'm planning on using this mascarpone cheese in another recipe, maybe tomorrow night, we'll see, and it's going to be a fruit-based recipe, and so I want to go ahead and use the fruit base, which is the lemon juice in this cheese. So it's gonna have a little bit of a tartness to this cheese simply because of the acid. The acid in the cheese is what's going to cause the cheese to thicken, or the, in the cream, I should say, is what's going to cause it to thicken. Now, and this is very similar to cream cheese, American cream cheese. American cream cheese, however, is made with milk rather than with cream. And that is the basic difference. And also cream cheese will actually form a curd where this will not. So let's get turned around and I'll show you what we got going on here. All right, folks. So this is not going to be a difficult recipe, but you are going to need some equipment. And first you're going to need a saucepan with a heavy bottom in it. And we are going to be heating our cream and then we'll add our lemon juice into it. And then I've got a large bowl here that I'm going to make an ice bath in. So basically I'm going to fill it with ice cubes and some water. Then here I've got some cheesecloth and you can buy that at either a, like I think Walmart sells it, Hobby Lobby sells it for sure, some places like that. So I've got a large bowl here with my strainer right there with the cheesecloth in it and we'll use that last. And this is gonna take about 24 hours to complete because once we've cooled it and we've strained it into the, into the cheesecloth, we're just gonna move this whole thing into the refrigerator for 24 hours. So let's get started here. All right, so into our saucepan, we're gonna put our cream. We're just gonna get it all in there. I have not turned the heat on it to it yet. I didn't want to scorch the box, scorch it as I put it into a hot saucepan. Okay, I think that's good enough. Turn our heat on now. And I'm going to turn this down to about a medium low, I guess. And we want to bring this to a simmer. And we want to give it a you know, give it a stir while we're doing it. We don't want to scorch the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and fill my bowl with ice while we're doing this. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, folks, so we're coming up to that simmer and I've been stirring occasionally here. We're not looking for a rolling boil or anything. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Down, together, down. Now then, we want to go 15 to 17 minutes. I did put my lemon juice in. So I'm going to set my timer real quick. Okay, so I set that for 15 minutes. And we'll check back in occasionally here. Okay, so it's been about eight minutes or so now. And I just wanted to update you. You can tell it's getting a little thicker. See how it's sticking to the spatula here. So we're about halfway, maybe a little more. And I'm not knocking it down off the sides. I've been stirring it about once every, oh, I don't know, minute and a half, two minutes while I'm refilling ice cube trays here. All right, 
We'll be back in a few. All right, folks, so I have decided to let that go for the full 17 minutes here. It'll be done in just a moment. Now then, I have tasted this. It tastes a little bit like a bechamel sauce. As soon as our timer goes off, notice I'm stirring constantly here. It's because it is getting thicker and I don't want it scorching to the bottom. As soon as our timer goes off, we're going to move it over here into the ice bath and do a, like a flash cooling on it. All right, so we're just going to put that down into the ice here. And we're gonna leave it there for 10 minutes. Okay, so our 10 minutes is almost almost up. And I did give this a stir simply because the cheese, it is kind of turning to cheese actually, especially along the outsides of the pan. There goes our 10 minutes. It is really thickening up. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is really thickening up here. Now then, we are going to take this and we are going to pour it right directly into our cheesecloth here. I'll try to keep my big hands out of the way so you can see. I'm trying to clean my pan here as I go. That's exactly what we want right there. And now and basically what we are going to do is separate liquid from solids here. And what we will be left with in the bottom of our pan, our bowl, is going to be whey. Okay, kind of a creamy cheesiness to it. A slight amount of the flavor from the lemon juice. All right, so I'm gonna move this into the refrigerator for 24 hours. We will be back tomorrow afternoon with it. All right, folks, so after 24 hours, actually it's been more like 27 hours in the refrigerator. This is what our mascar mascarpone cheese looks like. And it has solidified considerably. I'm gonna give it a little squeeze here. Not much. Doesn't look like there's much more liquid to come out here. But there you go, that's the liquid that's left over. And that can be used in all kinds of stuff. In fact, I have a plan for it. I'll be showing that to you later in another video. And here is our cheese. Move that out of the way. There we go. We'll see if we can't turn this out into our bowl here. Might have to use my spatula a little bit here. Maybe I could have used a smaller bowl. I thought I'd error, error on, the si on the side of caution here. probably about as much as I'm going to get. Isn't that beautiful? That's our mascarpone cheese right there. All right. 
I may try to wash this out with hot water. We'll see how that goes. All right, folks, so let's get turned around. All right, folks, so we've got this mascarpone cheese here. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. A nice creaminess to it with just a hint of tartness. Hmm. This can go in a lot of different things. Hmm. Like I said, I'm going to be using this in a dessert type thing, a fruit dessert type thing. I'll probably be shooting that video tomorrow. Hmm. I got to put this down. I might be tempted to eat the whole bowl just like this. All right, folks, if you like what you're seeing down here in the bottom right hand corner, hit like and subscribe and stay tuned. There's always more to come. And thanks for watching.